You've been critical of Senator Cruz's strategy. You say his voting record doesn't match his rhetoric. Why? Well, let me begin by saying that we have to understand who ISIS is. ISIS is a radical Sunni group. They cannot just be defeated through airstrikes. Airstrikes are a key component of defeating them, but they must be defeated on the ground by a ground force. And that ground force must be primarily made up of Sunni Arabs themselves. Sunni Arabs that reject them ideologically and confront them militarily. We will have to embed additional American special operators alongside them to help them with training, to help them conduct special missions, and to help improve the airstrikes. The airstrikes are important, but we need to have an Air Force capable of it. And because of the budget cuts we are facing in this country, we are going to be left with the oldest and the smallest Air Force we have ever had. We have to reverse those cuts, in addition to the cuts to our Navy and in addition to the cuts to our Army as well. And beyond that, I would say we must win the information war against ISIS. Every war we have ever been involved in has had a propaganda if informational aspect to it. ISIS is winning the propaganda war. They are recruiting people, including Americans, to join them with the promise that they are joining this great apocalyptic movement that is going to defeat the West. We have to show what life is really like in ISIS territory, and we have to show them why ISIS is not invincible by going out and conducting these attacks and publicizing them to those who they recruit. Because I, I asked the question, Senator, uh, because you said this. You said he, referring to Senator Cruz, voted against the Defense Authorization Act every year that it came up. And right. I assume that if he voted against it, he would veto it as president. That's the bill that funds that our is troops. The, that is accurate. Three times he voted against the Defense Authorization Act, which is a bill that funds the troops. It also, by the way, funds the Iron Dome and other important programs. And I have to assume that if you vote against it in the Senate, you would also veto it as president. He has also supported, by the way, a budget uh, that is called the containment budget. And it is a budget that would radically reduce the amount of money we spend on our military. You can't carpet bomb ISIS if you don't have planes and bombs to attack them with. And if we continue those cuts that we're doing now, not to mention additional cuts, we are going to be left with the oldest and the smallest air force this country has ever had. And that leaves us less safe. Senator Cruz. Well, you know, Marco has, has continued these attacks, and, and he knows they're not true. Yes, it is true that I voted against the National Defense Authorization Act because when I campaigned in Texas, I told voters in Texas that I would oppose the federal government having the authority to detain U.S. citizens permanently with no due process. I have repeatedly supported an effort to take that out of that bill, and I honored that campaign commitment. But more broadly, you know, the notion Marco is suggesting that, that, that somehow he, he also has tossed uh, more than a few insults this direction. Let's be absolutely clear. ISIS and radical Islamic terrorism will face no more determined foe than I will be. We will utterly destroy them by targeting the bad guys. And one of the problems with Marco's foreign policy is he is far too often supported Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama undermining governments in the Middle East that have helped radical Islamic terrorists. We need to focus on killing the bad guys, not getting stuck in Middle Eastern civil wars that don't keep America safe. Senator Rubio. Yeah, let me, three points of distinction. The first is, if you're an American citizen and you decide to join up with ISIS, we're not going to read you your Miranda rights. You're going to be treated as an enemy combatant, a member of an army attacking this country. Number two. We do need our defense <coughs> capabilities. It is a fact that the cuts we are facing today and the cuts that Senator Cruz would have supported would leave us with an even smaller Air Force and a smaller Navy than the one we are going to be left with. And the final point that I would make is Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama's strategy is to lead from behind. It sounds like what he's outlining is not to lead at all. We cannot continue to outsource foreign policy. We must lead. We are the most powerful nation in the world. We need to begin to act like it again. We're going to have much more on this, We're going to have much more on this, but I want to move now.